this is feta mm. but this is feta sitting down but she also has surrounding her and a leather what they call her a leather mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and like like a, is it a guardian like some like a guidan angel in the spirit, yeah, spirit. Uh, 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 and it is believed that your spirit is always ahead of you mm. uh, okay why she is probably looking at the physical maybe the lady has money mm. or she's very beautiful she's a very mm. good item for people to see ah or more Look the babe where Philip can I can't use my name. I don't, I don't carry baby. No. Mm -hmm. But they say, oh my, look the babe where Philip. <laughs> <laughs> look, you know that kind of a thing. Yeah. You, you know sometimes your, the flesh is take takes over the spirit. Yeah. Sometimes, this is one of those cases. I think. Does that? Do you think that could be right? Yeah, of course, of course, hundred percent. Because sometimes you know, it depends on what everybody gets into a relationship for different reasons, hmm. and so your reason is what tailors or drives the relationship yes a lot of times so sometimes if you both of you if your values don't match or if you don't really understand why you are in that relationship it yes. will be as though you know there's this thing going on around about situationship <laughs> It's so funny. Situationship. Situationship. I don't, even know how, I don't know how we came to that, but I'm like, okay. So there's that relationship and situationships. Maybe they ah. are in a situationship. So she's the only one. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, wait now. I don't <laughs> lose. What is a situationship? Um, I think <laughs> that probably when both parties, one is involved, the other party is not involved, or both of them are not mm. clear on their terms of the relationship. Then it yeah. becomes a situation. It becomes a situation. If babe won't like man because of money, but doesn't probably like the way he looks, that's a situation. Right? Nah. It is a situation of money. It's not. No. All right. If babe, if man like babe because of uh, things we cannot talk on air because it's daytime, but babe, maybe, maybe one of the things that can irritate somebody like me is. Mm. I find it difficult to hang around somebody who can speak speak English well. To ban tabon. Hey, Chideke, <laughs> you will be begging that she should just not talk. <laughs> so, no matter if she has all the other attributes, but doesn't speak well, mm. it's a no for me. So, probably there is something that embarrasses the guy about maybe she maybe she's not humorous. Maybe. I'm not sure it's an embarrassment. I don't think... But, well, embarrassment in the sense that Talk about that boy is embarrassing. We go for a, for a function and they say, Hello, everybody, how are you? Everybody goes, Oh, woo, how are you? Say, hey, Fumilayo, this, how are you? I say, uh, How are you? Eh? <laughs> <I'm just laughs> like, I is fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I is fine. I is fine. No, don't tell me somebody will say that. Okay. Just wait. No, till don't. Wait till you actually meet them. I can't. I don't meet. I, don't, <laughs> I, don't, I can't. can't. Do. It's not my portion. Uh, oh, my God. My, <laughs> it's not in my itinerary. <laughs> so you think so we can easily say that this one is in a situation exactly relationship yeah. on my show. So what should she do? Uh I think she first she should um come to terms with the reality of the fact that she's the only one involved in the relationship first, then have a conversation with the man or with the guy and ask him what exactly is it that you want. When I hear have a conversation, have a conversation. For me, once I read the body language, that conversation is over. Why should I tell somebody something? Then that person now makes an extra effort to be careful where I am. Mm. It doesn't work. First, the reality, she should find a way to move on. It means you are not in sync with each other. You are not, uh, uh, what's the word now? You are not compatible. And what, what I mean by having a conversation is because you don't know what the guy might be going through inside well yeah i mean if, uh, if for know. example it's difficult to tell people that that, that they have a body odor uh, yeah so uh, you know, i find that i find i find that if you tell people they, they you know they feel they get offended yeah so if it's something like that is it where you now have the discussion that you say eh you know it's, it's not that i don't like you you know but you know <laughs> I don't know how to say this, so then, then the baby will go ah, and say it. Ah, no, you know, I don't know if you can take it. The baby will be afraid. She doesn't mm. know whether he has contracted the disease or something. <laughs> and then they will know, you know, it's just that every time you put up your hands and, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying it is you. I'm not saying it is you. How could I say this? But there's something that is a bit offensive that, you know, mm. it can do that. Yeah, it could be something. To be honest with you, it could be something as easy as I mean, 
easy in the sense that it can be handled. Mm. So I pr you're probably right. I, I am wrong. I take back what I said. You are right. It's good to have that discussion. It's yeah. good to have. It happens to the guys too. Yes. Babe will always encourage you to come, whatever. But when she's there, she's irritable. Maybe it's something that you do. Maybe mm -hmm. you're not. Mm -hmm. I have total intolerance for 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 lack of cleanliness. It's me too. I can't. I can't. I, do I, I don't like. I, I don't. I even even something as bad as if you apply sulfur to your hair, I'm almost inclined to bring out my um, my air freshener and sprinkle your hair or to take water from the um, what do you call that one with the sticks from the um, um, kiletin queen. <laughs> this one, huh? Eh? Shower. Shower call. I need the one the <laughs> air freshener with the sticks. Oh, okay. uh, oh feta, you form my hand now. I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> you, you don't know. I don't know. Diffuser. Ah! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> ah, feta, you form my hand. <laughs> I sprinkled the water, you know. Yeah. So it could be, yeah. So I think that's happened. We are going to open up our lines and um, 0700-993-993-993. And the female number, I expect more women to react, 01465-7190. It's 921. Our break time is 924. Am I right? So 25. that 25. So that gives us three minutes. Let's take a call in the interim. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Yes, I have an echo there. Switch off your radio. Yes, sir. I just did that, sir. Yes. Good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Yes, sir. Uncle, whoever yeah. you are. But I don't remember my name. Uncle Ade. I don't remember, but you can call me Poboski. No, I'm not calling you Poboski. This is not politics. <laughs> we already have problems with a candidate that has that kind of name, so we'll just call you Uncle Ade. <laughs> okay, thank you, Uncle. Now, see, sir. Yes. This thing that you are discussing about this morning is yes. very sensitive. Yes. In the sense that um, I am, I, I have, I am a person who, who is the father of four. Yes. And I had to back out of a marriage that lasted for about twelve years. Really. Because of what I've been able to, because of what I have put up with in the past years. And from the beginning of the marriage. Uh, why did you bail out I, earlier? Thank you. I used to be a very stubborn boy growing up. Hmm. Oh, when the man from my mini new jail gone. Ah, yeah. Call on for my she's Allow my me. Yes. So now, because because I wanted to make her happy. Hmm. When I got into this relationship with this lady. Mm. She was like everything I needed in the world. She was so accommodating. She was loving. She mm. was kind. Mm. I didn't know that she was putting out all of those acts because she wanted a man. Yes. Ah, oh, money. Packaging. Now that you know. That she was, it, I it, that it, discovered it. that she's a very violent woman. Wow. She lies pathetically. Wow. She can be very ungrateful. Wow. Okay, it's enough, it's enough. People who know you will know who you are talking about. It's all we'll take, we'll, ta we'll take a short break. We'll take a short break now, and when we come back, we'll continue. Don't touch that dial. Daily Digest returns in a moment. The debaters are ready. The panel of judges are ready. The judges have decided. The prize money is ready. One million naira. There's only one question left, Lagos. Are you, the audience, ready? It's the August edition of the I Beg to Differ Debate Tournament. I am Sandra Ezekwesili, your moderator. Join me from August 8th as the best student debaters go head to head. Weekdays at 4 on 99.3 Nigeria Info FM. This tournament is supported by Webster University, RLG Communications, Obiwizi.com, Booker Hot, and Storm Body Spray. I even enjoy multiple ACs when I'm on gym. That's less bills and more comfort every single day. So, what will you do with your 70% savings? Get 
the highest level through Jed Bauer Inverter Air Conditioner. That's a whooping 70% electricity saver. That's less bills, more comfort. Higher thermal grade, always there for you. the creamy coffee taste of cowbell coffee round the clock it's really delicious taste it and you will love it cowbell coffee taste the creamy side of coffee this life it good to be upgrade like if you've been the drive okada it good to upgrade to moto if you've been the leaf of this slap you it good to upgrade to self container flat and if you still the use small phone it good to upgrade to tear rubber for g smartphone today empty and don't talk say they will wash the phone for you with up to 1.5 gigabyte a wolf data monthly for six months plus 100 percent a wolf data anytime you buy data for six months hey will you this narilo bonga follow con 4g a wolf data combo oh yeah kia kia wrong go buy your techno infinix item Samsung Nokia 4G smartphone today. And if you like the pay small small, make you visit mtn.ng forward slash device dash financing. So now waiting we the do today. Believe and win big. Experience the wonder of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar with Coca-Cola. Buy any Coca-Cola product with a white cap. Check the code under the cap and dial star 8014 star 1 star code hash to participate for free. You could win an all-expense-pay trip to the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. There is also 250 million naira in airtime to be won instantly. T's and C's apply. Coca-Cola, official partner of the FIFA World Cup. This promo is approved by the FCCPC. Professional pictures of the birthday girl. Look. Beautiful. Hey, oh, you're still well for the camera. Oh, Hold on, I have an idea. Everyone, put on your phone torchlight. Here, take my Camon 19 Pro. It works great for portraits in low light. Yo, these portraits are clear. I told you, this is the Every Moment Portrait Master. That's right. The new Techno Camon 19 series, running on the latest Android OS with Google Apps, is your Every Moment Portrait Master. With its 64 MP Bright Night Triple Portrait Camera, the Camon 19 is designed to give you perfect natural tone portrait photos, whether in low light or daytime. Buy any of the Techno Camon 19 smartphones to get an instant gift and enjoy up to 24 months device and 100 days broken screen warranty. Purchase your device with Easy Buy for a down payment as low as 30%. Hurry now! Visit the nearest authorized Techno outlet to get yours today. Techno, stop at nothing. InDriver is the app that lets you negotiate your fare before you arrive. And it works really simple. Passengers offer a fare, drivers accept or make their own offer. In other words, great ride prices for everyone. Download the app and take your first InDriver ride today. The InDriver online passenger transportation aggregator is not a taxi service. Find more information at www.indriver.com. 99.3 Nigeria Info, your number one station for talk. Let's talk. Welcome back. Welcome back. This is Daily Digest with Jimmy Dissy. Yeah, you welcome back to the Daily Digest. Uh, and today being Wednesday is a dear Bumi day. I have with me Olufumelayo Ehidero. Are you related to the former policeman? Yes, he's my uncle. He's your uncle, okay. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I do want to apologize for the last caller um, to his wife, actually, to say that. Um, but you can see that we cut it midway. I like to plead with people when you want to, unless they're specifically asked on so on and so forth, it's not good to come on air you know, and pass remarks on people who are not here to defend themselves as such. You can talk about the situation, but you can't, uh, how would I put it, just keep your whatever, let's just have a nice general discussion. Uh, you'll be wondering, he didn't mention her name, yes, but he mentioned his own name. And those who know him knows, know his wife. And uh, I don't want to be brought in between any... Um, uh, I don't want to be dragged to a divorce court or whatever it is. 
But I want one more time to the wife. I do apologize. Please be assured it will not happen again. Okay? I apologize. Right. Let's go to the next story. Um, which one? His ex-wife won't let go. Demi. Hmm. Uh, don't frank your face. You know, my people, instead of saying frown your face, they say don't frank. frank. Don't frank your face. <laughs> Calm down. Let, let me read it. Okay. Stay, let me first of all read it. I met my husband five years ago when he was separated from his wife. As soon as his divorce got through, we married. We got as soon as his divorce went through, we got married, and his 16-year-old son now lives with us. He rarely sees his mother, and she seldom calls him. Is it wise to marry somebody who's been married before and has children? I don't have a problem with it. I, I didn't say if you have a problem with it. I say is it nice? Uh, it's it's. I mean, if, you, if the person it's is comfortable not, with it, it's fine. Uh, cool down, cool down. <laughs> The uh, okay, reality is his mother, and she seldom calls him. They also have a 17 year old daughter that is, the 16 year old has an elder sister who opted to live with her mother. I've always been pleasant to her when she calls, yet she refuses to meet me. That shouldn't bother you. It's none of your business. Her brother accepts me, so why can't she? I've lost the will to be nice to her. After her calls, my husband tells me what she's been up to, but I can't be bothered to show any interest. His ex-wife has now started to ring him more often. Darling, who's that calling you at? Uh, Mama, uh, repeatedly, you know. She always wants him to solve one problem or the other, especially about their daughter. She was the one who caused an end to the marriage. In a few weeks, the daughter will be 18, and she's made plans for an elaborate birthday party in her house, as in the wife's house. Okay. His ex and their daughter are always asking for money. His ex and their daughter are always asking for money. And my husband is too soft to say no. Despite, okay, that's this, the woman. Okay, the ex. Knowing how so upset this makes me, I don't know what to do. Am I being unreasonable? I know, I know my husband loves me, but having his ex around is making me unhappy. But this birthday party is going to take place in the, in the ex's house. So what's the problem? Because they're always asking for money. Is that uh, is, is there is there an added problem if you marry somebody who's been married before and has children? As far as the line is drawn, and the line remains drawn, <laughs> I don't think. So, what kind of lines do you think should be drawn? Um. So first, there should be um, boundaries set from the husband side already. So mm. you cannot call me. There can't be setting. We are not. They are not friends. They are exes. I mean, there is no. They are ex lovers, but yeah. they can be friends. Uh, ah, baby, stop, stop. Yeah, being ex lovers is not the end of the world. Yeah, but then even as friends, there should be boundaries. You can't be calling me unnecessarily. You can't, I can't be attending all functions because, except if we didn't have deep emotions for each other. If we did, I mean, there there is a tendency that it might stir up something again inside of us if, and if, if 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 they, they if they had something going on together whether you've set these boundaries or not mm. if they're going to get together so be it it will happen well true in though. fact they could be off themselves for 10 years and one day one innocent telephone call just comes and it just sparkles and just you know yeah if they if they meet for example in what our people call Udru Olomo Oto Mm. Do you know what that is? Uh, where, where, where people? I'm a street boy. I tell <laughs> people, people think that I'm some Ajebota somewhere. They don't know. I'm a Kalakuta street boy. So what is Ojolo Do you know Ojolo Do you know Ojolo <laughs> Moto? You don't know anything. Ojolo is um, in the, in the in, in the context of what I'm saying. Maybe for example, you both find yourself going for a different conferences in Australia. You now meet in the hotel lobby. Hey. That's where where all eyes do all over to all eyes nobody can see. Mm. And, uh, oh, is it to do about, you know, buffery, you know, the, the, that kind of thing. So, mm. oh, wait a minute, is that the Yoruba name? Yes, Ondo. Oh yeah, Ondo. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Ondo Akure, Ondo Setu. Akoko. Akoko. Ah, which Akoko is my former boss on some Akoko. Mm. Rufus Giver. He was from Okiagbe. Oh, okay, mine is um. Um, um, <laughs> don't even know. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. It's Ogbagi Akoko. <laughs> it's Ogbagi Ogbagi. Do you go home Akoko. regularly? 
no. And you don't go for Sunday meeting? No. Ah, <laughs> you, you get kids. So anyway, the good thing is that the man who will marry you, everything will be here. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so. Yeah, you know they go, you know they go anywhere. <laughs> so let's get your reactions on this. Um, so what should she do? Should she talk to the man? Yes, she should. She should talk to the man and tell him what? She's not comfortable with him, you know, um, accommodating the ex, you know, necessarily. And she, the sh if he has... But it doesn't say here that, that he goes to the woman's house. But she, he's been taking her calls. He has to take her calls? Huh? Every time. Uh, yes, he can't Why? decide when to take and when not to take. He has to decide. I mean, you are married to Your somebody Your body else. too hot. Uh, ah, we thought you. Eh? If I'm ah, not safe, and you are bouncing like, in your ah. chair. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm the one to, I'll be like, no, no, okay, no. I'm, ah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I will be calling my husband every time. <laughs> what's on what is? No way. Can <laughs> if he if he receives all the calls when he's in the office and he gets back home and he keeps a straight. I will know. How will you know? You get Kurube. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, Feta, don't be nervous, okay? I won't ask you anything. I'll let you relax. Our, our lines are open. You can call in and we'd like to take your reactions. While I go to Apollonia. Do we have one? Okay, let's take that call. Hello, good morning. Uncle Jimmy, good morning. Morning, sir. Hello? Good morning, sir. Yeah, Uncle Jimmy. I mean, the Rufus Gilad name that you just mentioned now in Okiagbe, I mean prompted me to call your show. I mean, my grandfather's house used to be on the same on the same street with Rufus Giwa. I mean, and then that brings some fond memory to me. Oh, yeah. Um, also, I, I think I need to adopt you as a distant um, mentor because I think that we almost share the same beliefs um, with um, views about life. I mean, okay. I, I think that I need to adopt you as a distant no, mentor. I, I, I but that being said, um, you see, so the issues that um, that you have that you have brought to the Abomi show today, mm. I really don't see a big deal about it. I mean, the, the lady who is thirty and does not have a relationship. I mean, come on, live your best life. If you exactly. have a career, push for a career. Boot. I mean, hang out with your friends. I'm sure you have female friends that you, I mean, that they both attended the university together or something or colleagues at work. Hang out on Fridays. Or, I mean, just live your best life, and then if the relationship will come, it will come. Yes. And for the uh, for the last story that you just talked about, mm. I mean. She's been married for, I mean, formerly privileged with someone for about 18 years. They have two kids. I mean, and then one of the kids is from the wife. So, I mean, and unfortunately, it's a, it's a female child. So you must, I mean, it's a sense of responsibility. And then from the story you have read, it shows that, I mean, your former wife was always calling about the female child. Yes. So, I mean, it has to, it has to, even though they are divorced, does that mean that, I mean, it has to attend to the issues with the kid, especially the female one. Mm -hmm. And so I see no reason. I mean, if your former wife is calling based on that, I mean, he has to answer oh, okay, okay. all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Your minute is up. Thank you very much, my mentee. <laughs> yeah, well, as a mentee, Baba <laughs> Mamutio, <laughs> and you know, tea goes with milk and sugar. But well, I don't take sugar, I take honey. So <laughs> I'm just joking. No, don't go. Don't go worry yourself. That is it, my tea. My mind went to tea. Do we have another caller? Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, morning. My name is uh, Akishobo. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, for that woman, if you allow the man to call, I mean, the, the other lady to call her husband. Exactly. After all, uh, she knew that uh, the man had wife before she got married. Exactly. And then, does it mean that the woman should take, she, she wants the woman to take care of that daughter alone? Hmm. So that woman should cool the temper out. Hmm. If she wants to, you know, want to have a settled home in the future, to cool Okay, down. Mr. Akinshobo, what if it was the man, uh, the woman had an ex-husband, and the husband now keeps calling her? What should the man do? He too should not, he should not mm -hmm. worry that happy. It, it, no, please, come again, I'm sorry. What if you had a man who married a woman who had been married before, yes. and her ex-husband keeps calling her because of their child? Well, <laughs> hmm. I, I was expecting that response. That, that, that one, uh, that one. Now you fall down. Oh, Lule. Oh, Lule. You don't hit the ground. Oh, Lule. 
Oh, Lule, Lule. Oh, Lule. <laughs> Uncle Jimmy, eh? Uh, let me pray to the Lord. I am um, seventy on Monday. Ah, God, 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 God bless you. How can you not tell us in the past? He didn't want us to come and uh, eat and drink and everything. Ah, okay. Happy, happy birthday to Mr. Akisho boy. He turned seventy on, on but who want Lule on this one? <laughs> he, uh, he did not. He did not. Mm. Oh, okay, let's 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 see another one. Um, I think I gave him a wrong impression. This is Apollonia. Uh, mm. What's the time? 9.41. Apollonia says, A group of us from my university went to this host party and I ended up going home with a very attractive man. We did actually do the do, but we fooled around most of the night. The next morning, I woke up dying of embarrassment as I was totally naked in bed with this total stranger. Luckily, he was really sweet about the whole thing and we spent the morning talking. Nothing happened between them. A bit of indiscretion. Yeah. He turned out to be a real gentleman, so I gave him my number, but I haven't heard from him since Oti Jakwa. Or Oti Meho. And she's now saying that. She's now worried that, ah, is it because he's written me off as a slut? Uh, was that the reason why he didn't make any attempts, you know? And she says, is there a way I can explain to him that I'm not normally like that and see if we can possibly start again? Maybe the guy's not even attracted to her. In the exactly. Very first so why is she yes. giving herself <laughs> issues? And, and, and you know that um, this is not from experience, just from some books that I read. People mm. talk, you know, magazines, social media. Sometimes a man can initially like somebody, and just one thing can flip his mind. Mm. Yes, uh, for somebody who, for example, who's who has, uh, it could be, it could, it could be anything from bad odor to manner of speaking to it could be anything and let's let's first of all give him credit for not taking advantage of the woman you know yeah. and, and maybe and maybe he just and maybe he's also faithful to his maybe as a lover he's mm -hmm. faithful to and he just found himself there so he says ah no this is not he might even be a christian yeah so, ah this is temptation so he might have gone to the tabernacle to mm. to cleanse himself. What do you think? I I, I agree with you. Would, I, do you think the woman has reason to be? First of all, it looks as if this woman likes him. Oh, that's uh, the, so she already she 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 started growing small small small. It's not growing. She liked him she from liked. the beginning. <laughs> yeah, she's which is why him. she's trying to. She's liked him from the beginning. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 he said because she didn't say anything about drinking, yeah, mm. which is a ready-made excuse. Yeah. But to me, it's no excuse. Drinking only really props you to do what you wanted to do. I was not brave enough mm. to do. It. I used to drink a lot in the past. So I, I know the, ah, you, man, correct. Mm. Uh, do you drink? No. You don't drink any alcohol? No. Oh, I'm not sure. You, uh, fat uncle. You don't drink any alcohol. So. Yes, you people have a sweet tooth. Mm -mm. So, um, what, so what should she do? Should she... The guy has... She gave him the number. The guy could have lost the number. Why True. doesn't she call him? Okay, look, Debumi has been writing this thing for this column for 40 something years. Okay. So let me read. I don't normally read, but I love to read this one. And it says that, and I hope you don't mind. It says, there is the good news here and the bad. So let's get the bad stuff over with. You are right to think that this man isn't calling you because he thinks you are easy. Some people believe that man like, that men like to be challenged. They like that, they like the haunt. You know, they like that process of hunting before babe gree, make it stretch you well, well. You understand? Yeah. You get you get it. Yes, I they do. They like that hunting. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't call me, you know, that hunt like that. Yeah. So men it, it peps them off. But for me, for some men it is a no brainer. Mm hmm Some not send. You know when they say person not I'm send. I'm telling you, even if you're not hunting, the man, the the man says I like you and you don't answer quick quick. It's, 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 it's not the next person. He says, Sorry, I like you. I said, But I like you too. Sorry, you are wasting time. <laughs> 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 it may be the first time you've ever done something like this, but how the hell does he know that? As I've often said, men like the chase. Not all men are to me. So men <laughs> these days are very impatient. And he says, Go home with him right away and the game is over. That's it. True. The good news, though, is that there's a possibility, though remote, that you can try and change his mind about you. 
of course, your defense would be to tell him that you are not normally like that, you know. So, babes, after I find, hey, you know, hey, I'm not normal, Philip, I'm not normally like that, but I don't know what happened to me. That, <laughs> that sometimes works with a bit of tears. Yeah. Uh, sitting in one corner. Kilo day, then they ask, keep asking the babe, what is it? Tell me what is, tell me what is it, mon what is the problem? Then you keep watching the guy to see whether the uh, temperature don't go up. <laughs> then when you know that the temperature is at the high, say, I don't know how to tell you. No, I'm not nobody like that. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, my. Feta, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, as a result, the more you try to explain your behavior, the guiltier you sound. If I were you, I'd count my losses and look for greener pastures. But that the guy could have lost her number. But Antibu means suggestion is top notch yeah i agree with everything she uh, except that saying. i don't agree that well maybe majority like the chase but these days men are impatient men yeah. men 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 see relationships opportunity for relationships as being on a bus stop if mm. the first if the first bus goes another bus is just around the corner it's coming eko, 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 and you enter that one true uh, you cannot true. you cannot force yourself to enter <laughs> 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 because men, men believe some men believe that if you if you spend half your time trying to enter one bus, yeah, the other three buses might not even stop at the bus stop. They might not. They might not exactly. <laughs> so they want to just take the chance. <laughs> All right, I think we have a caller here. We'll soon leave. We have a caller here. Hello, good morning. Yeah, Uncle Jimmy. Good morning, sir. Morning. And good morning. Good morning. Well, I hear there on my mind. Go to the former IG. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there, yes. <laughs> yeah. I it's from Edo State, though. I didn't know it's from Edo. It's from Edo State. Uh, you know, there's a borderline in Edo State yeah, right. that flips. You know, there's a borderline in Edo State that flips yeah. between Edo State and Edo yeah. State. Oh, give me back to the matter. Mm. For me, oh, this uh, ex uh, the, 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 the divorce here, I mean, yes. and not uh, not too much function that one because any time they can. You know, get to. Hey, but they can always get together even when you don't call. That's um, what I'm telling you. Ah. Oh, no, hey, King Boron, you don't listen. They can at, get together. Don't kill yourself over. Look, at, look at the man you ask. Yeah. You <laughs> know, the wife has right to, the ex wife has right to get in touch with the man. Then you ask him, okay, if the wife, the ex husband, is the you know, the man is finding difficult to. Ah, no, oh, what let me? He had a ground. So, so for. Oh, me, uh, anything, uh, uh, divorce, uh, whatever. Yes. So for single parents, you know that is my. I'm in that position now. You need to take time, get mm. your children involved. Whoever you want to get involved with, let mm. your children be in the picture for a very long time. Then before you bring the woman or the man to the. Yeah, okay, uh, Chris. Okay. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Chris is searching now. Mm. Mm. You like his voice. Doesn't sound bad. Ah. <laughs> Chris, you know, <laughs> you know, I run an unofficial uh, dating. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me leave Chris alone. So that's that. Um, Albert says she's using her son as a bait. Do we have time? Nah, nine forty-nine is almost nine fifty. So let's just take some more phone calls. We can't start a new story now. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Uh -huh. Here comes the pastor from Orile Tell us um, the, tell us the what the Lord has told you about this thing we are discussing now. You see, as long as that man is still going back to because of the daughter or the child they have, yes. the bond will still be there. So I think the new wife, what I suggest is if she can't go, she, she just walk out because it uh -huh. will be easy. Let me tell you, I know somebody that they divorced for 17 years. Mm -hmm. And the lady later came back. Yes. And why the man has remarried. You see, marrying someone like that takes a very strong will. So for me, the man can cope. But for the lady, you know, women naturally jealousy is part of their genes. So, naturally, uh, so yeah, I, I I don't agree with you, Pastor. So, uh, uh, and I'll tell you why. So you, you tell me why? 
The woman did not say she has a problem with the man. She's enjoying mm. the man. Her major okay. problem is that this other woman is constantly calling him. Yes. That is not what I'm saying. And that no matter how she's not even disturbed about it, as long as the other woman is still having connection because of that child, so it will be easy for her. Otherwise, let her uh, just cook and accept that she'll be second wife oh, oh, oh. in the nearest future. Again. <laughs> No, but you know she's actually right to a, to a large extent because sometimes when um when when a man moves out of a certain marriage into another one and the which which all boils down to reasons, you know. Because what if you uh, just marry this other wife for the sake of let me just get into get into another marriage, companionship, let me just marry her. Maybe it doesn't really, really, really... Because, to be honest, you cannot be encouraging conversations with your ex if there are not still some emotional no, attachments. But, 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 hey, look, wait a minute. Uh, let's look at this thing critically. Okay, the other woman probably has an emotional... Attachment. ...thingy for yeah. the guy. I mean, we can't, we can't take that out of the equation. But also there's the issue of the two of them still having to raise a daughter. And I know when it comes to raising a daughter... Whether you are married to the to the mother of the daughter or not, mm. it's good that you have constant communication between yourself and the woman. True. The reason the daughter is not easy. True. True. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me pick another call. This will be our last call for the day. Hello, good morning. Uncle Jimmy, good morning. Morning. Yeah, this is Dambaba. Morning, Dambaba. Quickly, you have just about a minute. To go. Um, on a day like this, I love listening to you. But because of the lady, discussed, I think the last one, I will say my own personal experience. You, I don't read from social media or magazine. You see, there are a lot that chase men away from women, and women need to take note. Hmm. I don't want to talk about the first one, but the second one is. You know, a lady that bombarded me with phone calls. And I hate that kind of thing. So I ran away then. That was back then, no, not now. Oh, so now you can, she can bombard you with phone calls. You don't mind. Ah, uh, you cut him off. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, so sorry. Right. Uh, 5, 9, 53. Can we take one, just one more call? No, we cannot. I got to go. I'll be back tomorrow. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Hidero. Thank, Thank you. Well. you. We hope you'll come again. Definitely. Yeah, that, that's good. I, I got to go. We'll be back here tomorrow. Tomorrow, Thursday, tomorrow will be some kind of open mic that we'll do. Friday, we're back to the Youth Forum. And on Saturday, we'll look at the return of history into the curriculum with Rudolf Digbo. See you all tomorrow at 9.